in the animal world, migration is a two-way street. Whether it be spring or fall, animals will move from an area where the changing season is going to make the environment less hospitable than where they would like to move to. Migration paths may be very long, as in the case of the Arctic Tern, whose round trip is 20,000 miles. Or it may be only a few miles, although these few miles generally cover a significant change in elevation. Winter and summer ranges are pretty well defined for animals. They tend to learn from their parents where they will spend their time. And since there are fairly logical pathways between the summer and the winter range, the animals follow the pathways that they learn from their parents, which were passed down from generations of ancestors. When they find something new blocking their pathway, it can be confusing to them. In some cases, they will have to learn new paths to get them to their destination. In other instances, the blockage is a severe impediment to their migration, and their survival relies upon migration. As humans and our development continue to sprawl across the landscape, more and more frequently we will find ourselves in situations where we must stop and consider how we are impairing this annual journey so necessary to the survival of animals that we hold in high esteem. From a very important migration corridor and bottleneck, Trapper's Point, I'm Eric Peterson from the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service.